As Congress member Eric Swalwell said, oh, now I know why Trump's former officials didn't speak at the Republican National Convention. They're speaking at Vice President Kamala Harris's Democratic National Convention. This is Donald Trump's worst nightmare. Republican after Republican speaking at the DNC and former Trump voters speaking at the DNC, endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris and saying why they don't support Donald Trump and other other rational Republicans, mainstream conservatives shouldn't support Donald Trump. And the Democratic National Convention did an incredible job highlighting this. The first clip I want to show you is from the mayor of Mesa, Arizona, the 36th or 37th largest city in the United States, a very conservative city and a very conservative mayor, John Giles, gave an incredible impassioned speech at the Republican National convention, which was so effective in reaching independents and Republicans. Take a look at his references to John McCain. We'll play it for you right now. Let's play it. Good evening. I have a confession to make. I'm a lifelong Republican. So I feel a little out of place tonight, but I feel more at home here than in today's Republican Party. The grand old party has been kidnapped by extremists and devolved into a cult. The cult of Donald Trump. Trump doesn't know the first thing about public service. Like a child, he acts purely out of self-interest. We all need an adult in the White House. And we've seen what happens when we don't have one. Trump made a lot of lofty promises, unlimited economic growth, American manufacturing reborn, a secure border. Turns out Donald Trump was all talk. He wanted our votes, but he couldn't deliver a thing. But these days, my city of Mesa, Arizona is on the move. I'm going to ribbon cuttings every single week, all because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris reached across the aisle and they delivered for my conservative community and countless more across the country. My hero, John McCain, taught us, taught us to put country over party. And that's how Vice President Harris and Governor Walls will lead to. I have an urgent mes message for the majority of Americans who, like me, are in the political middle. John McCain's Republican Party is gone, and we don't owe a damn thing to what's been left behind. So let's turn the page. Let's put country first. Let's put adults in the room where our country deserves. Thank you. By the way, you can see the difference right here between the DNC, Vice President Kamala Harris, and the RNC. This photo speaks volumes, doesn't it? Also, Vice President Kamala Harris filled crowds in both Milwaukee and Chicago, two stadiums filled with people. Anna Navarro, former Republican, she may still consider herself a Republican, but certainly not a MAGA. She gave an incredible speech right here. And here she talked about how she had to flee communism in Nicaragua growing up. And she says, look, Donald Trump has all of the traits of a communist leader in South America. Play this clip. Let's be serious. Donald Trump and his minions call Kamala a communist. I know communism. I fled communism from Nicaragua when I was eight years old. I don't take it lightly. And let me tell you what communist dictators do. And it's never just for one day. They attack the free press. They call them the enemy of the people, like Ortega does in Nicaragua. They put their unqualified relatives in cushy government jobs so they can get rich of their positions, like the Castros do in Cuba. And they refuse to accept legitimate elections when they lose and call for violence to stay in power, like Maduro is doing right now in Venezuela. Now you tell me something. Do any of those things Sound familiar? 
Is there anybody running for president who reminds you of that? And I know one thing, it's not Kamala Harris. That is not the American, the America we love. It's not the land of freedom we treasure. Last night, we heard President Biden say that he loves his job, but he loves his country more. Every American needs to love our country more. Every American has the duty to put our country first. Country first before party. Country first before political ambition. Country first before habit. And in this election, putting country first means one thing and one thing only, voting for Kamala Harris. such a powerful moment right there. Then you had Stephanie Grisham give a speech right here. She served as Trump's White House press secretary and communications director, and then also chief of staff to then first lady Melania Trump. And here Stephanie Grisham said, look, one of the reasons I never gave a press conference when I worked for Donald Trump, I couldn't bring myself to lie for him. But here I am, a Republican, standing at the DNC, calling out Donald Trump. Take a listen to this powerful stuff. I wasn't just a Trump supporter. I was a true believer. I was one of his closest advisors. The Trump family became my family. I spent Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's all at Mar-a-Lago. I saw him when the cameras were off. Behind closed doors, Trump mocks his supporters. He calls them basement dwellers. On a hospital visit one time when people were dying in the ICU, he was mad that the cameras were not watching him. He has no empathy, no morals, and no fidelity to the truth. He used to tell me, it doesn't matter what you say, Stephanie, Say it enough and people will believe you. But it does matter. What you says matter. And what you don't say matters. On January 6th, I asked Melania if we could at least tweet that while peaceful protest is the right of every American, there's no place for lawlessness or violence. She replied with one word, no. I became the first senior staffer to resign that day. I couldn't be part of the insanity any longer. When I was press secretary, I got skewered for never holding a White House briefing. It's because unlike my boss, I never wanted to stand at that podium and lie. Now here I am, behind a podium, advocating for a Democrat. And that's because I love my country more than my party. Kamala Harris tells the truth, she respects the American people, and she has my vote. Thank you. Ever find yourself in the middle of summer, the heat getting to your head and your focus just slipping away? Or maybe you're just looking for a little pick-me-up to keep life balanced while staying in control. Well, if that's you, it might be time to enhance your everyday with Vaya. Vaya is dedicated to bringing the natural benefits of hemp into your wellness routine. Whether you're setting the mood for a cozy night in, unwinding after a long day, or just looking for a subtle boost, Vaya has you covered. Their award-winning THC and THC-free gummies are perfect for those who want the benefits of cannabis without losing hours to an unproductive high. With Vaya, you get the best of both worlds, a microdose of THC that keeps you comfortable and clear-headed. But that's not all. Vaya's lineup includes premium indoor THCA flower, soothing topicals, and calming drops, all crafted from the highest quality hemp sourced from trusted, independently owned American farms. And the best part, Vaya legal ships to all 50 states in discreet packaging with no medical card required. I've been trying out Via products recently and I've got to say they've been great. Whether it's winding down after a stressful day or keeping my mood in check, their gummies have been my go-to. They give me the right amount of relaxation 
without knocking me out so I could stay productive and feel good. My favorite, the Dreams Sleep Gummies. They're tasty, effective, and just what I need to wind down after a chaotic day of covering the news. So if you're 21 or over and looking to enhance your wellness routine, check out the link to Vaya in our description and use the code MIDAS for 15% off your order. That's M-E-I-D-A-S. After you make your purchase, we'll ask where you heard about them. Please let them know we sent you. It's I... Take three. So if you're 21 or over and looking to enhance your wellness routine, check out the link to Vaya in our description and use the code MIDAS for 15% off your order. That's M-E-I-D-A-S. After you make your purchase, they'll ask where you heard about them. Please let them know we sent you. It's time to elevate your everyday with Vaya. One of the things I think the DNC did great is they put these montages together, these incredible short videos. By the way, look a lot like some of the videos we do here on the Midas Touch Network. Take a look at this video right here where it was former Trump voters explaining why they're voting for Vice President Kamala Harris this year. Play this clip. My name is Chuck. Uh, I voted for Trump in 2016. My name is Tom. I'm from Michigan, and I am a former Trump voter. I'm Joanna. I live in Florida. I'm a former Trump voter. I just cannot vote for the man, and it can go from just being dishonest from a criminal and an insurrectionist. He has no respect for Americans. He has no respect for the Constitution. I believe if Trump gets the second term, he's not leaving, he's staying. He broke the law. He doesn't believe they apply to him. The President of the United States exists to serve the people of the United States. In 2024, I'm voting for Kamala Harris. You may recognize the next speaker, Kyle Sweetser, who explained why he is voting for Kamala Harris. He previously voted for Donald Trump twice. He was a guest here first on the Midas Touch Network. Here is Kyle Sweetser getting a prime spot at the DNC. Play the clip. I voted for Trump not once, not twice, but three times. You see, I work in construction. I work with my hands. He told us he'd look out for blue collar workers. So I made my first ever political donation to Trump. And I donated to him many times throughout his presidency. But then I started to see Trump's tariff policy in action. Costs for construction workers like me were starting to soar. I realized Trump wasn't for me. He was for lining his own pockets. Now I'm not left wing, period. But I believe our leaders should bring out the best in us, not the worst. That's why I'm voting for Kamala Harris. And here is a former MAGA pundit, Rich Logus, former MAGA pundit, he endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris and he explained how he stepped outside of the MAGA echo chamber. Play this clip. My name is Rich Logis. I live in Florida. And until two years ago, I was a full-fledged member of MAGA. I believe Trump. I was a MAGA pundit. I had my own podcast. I was in a state of panic, terrified that Democrats were destroying our country. When the pandemic hit, we needed leadership, but we were given almost nothing. It was a major portrayal to the country. So I finally stepped outside the MAGA echo chamber. I stopped listening to what Trump said and looked around with my own eyes. And I realized he had been lying about pretty much everything. Lying is Trump's toxic superpower. He's ripped apart families, communities, our whole country. So this is my message to all the Republicans and independents who are watching. People like me who voted for and believed in Trump. I made a grave mistake, but it's never too late to change your mind. You don't need to agree with everything you hear tonight to do what is right. We need to be able to trust our leaders. That's why I'm all in for Kamala Harris. One of the things we've always talked about here at the Midas Touch Network, one of the ways of deprogramming cults is to show cult members how other people left the cult 
and how they are doing today. People fear leaving the cult for a variety of reasons. Sometimes people fear leaving because of the shame of admitting that they're wrong. But you know what I always say? This pro-democracy community needs to be a big tent. If you love our flag, if you love our country, if you love our constitution, if you know that we the people deserve to have our freedoms protected, the choice is very clear. The pro-democracy party is the Democratic Party right now. That's Vice President Kamala Harris. And take a look at this video right here that the DNC put together highlighting Donald Trump and J.D. Vance's weirdness, but also their very dangerous weirdness. Play the clip. Nobody's ever called me weird. I'm a lot of things, but weird I'm not. The late great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. You know what I'd do if there was a shark or you get electrocuted? I'll take electrocution every single time. Bing, 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 bing. She said Kamala has one big advantage. She's a very beautiful woman. I'm a better looking person than Kamala. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, no, no. Other than day one, I'd like to congratulate Vladimir Putin for having made yet another great deal. Kim Jong-un I had a good relationship with. He's a tough, smart guy. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Well, they're the weird one. J.D. is not at all. The people who are most deranged and most psychotic are people who don't have kids at home. Let's give votes to all children in this country, but let's give control over those votes to the parents of those children. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote. Now, can you think of a worse nightmare for Donald Trump than seeing Republican after Republican and people who worked for you getting on that DNC stage and endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris? Chef's kiss pitch perfect. And then on Thursday, we're going to hear from Adam Kinzinger, former Republican Congress member who will be speaking on Thursday. We will keep you updated, of course, here on the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Thanks for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.